What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have finally updated my drone to the Air 2S. Is that in focus? I can't even tell. Focus. There we go. The Air 2S. And I am, to say the least, very, very, very stoked. I wanted something that would match my R6 a bit better than the, uh, than the Mavic Mini. Anytime I'd put footage together, like I'd be shooting on my R6 and I'd switch to a drone shot. And it just took me out of the story. Maybe that's just me, but the quality just didn't match. And it was my biggest pet peeve with, uh, with the Mavic Mini. So super stoked to have access to this drone now. Um, and I wanted to make just a just a little little review on it. Just my experience with it so far. I've had it, I think, almost like a week now. So it's going to be just kind of a brief review. But I thought I'd run through it and uh, yeah, just have a little bit of fun talking about a a really epic drone. So I'll just quickly go through the specs of the drone just in case if any of you are unfamiliar with uh, what this package gets you. Um, I got it on my phone here because I didn't feel like memorizing it. It has a one inch sensor for the camera, one inch CMOS sensor. The lens is a 22 millimeter lens. So I think most drones up until this point were anywhere from 28 to 24 millimeters. It gives you a bit more of that wider angle, which I think would be pretty nice for drones. I, I feel like the wider the angle kind of like makes the footage look a bit faster. I'm not sure I've what I've experienced with uh, different focal lengths. It seems like the wider the lens, the faster it looks like uh, your camera is moving, like if you're panning forward. So yeah, 22 millimeter lens. Um, the aperture is a fixed f 2.8. So you can't turn, change the aperture, which can be kind of hard if you don't have an ND filter and you want to just get your drone up and you want to change your exposure. Uh, like changing your aperture would definitely help with that. So you're definitely definitely going to need uh, ND filters with this drone if you're going to fly it in manual or you're going to have to crank your shutter speed. And ultimately, I don't like doing that. Um, but if you get the Fly More package, it does come with ND filters. I just got the normal package. So I got some, uh, what are they, Free Well ND filters, and they work really well. Free Well. Yeah, okay. I was going to tell a joke, but it's probably going to be bad. Um, it shoots 5.4K up to 30 frames per second, 4K up to 60 frames per second, 2.7K up to 60 frames per second, and full full HD up to 120 frames per second. And it shot it shoots in H.264 uh, and H.265. I'm just reading the specs. You guys can go check them out yourself. Um, so yeah, those are like the video specs. Also, the still images shoot at 20 megapixels. So. Can get some decent photos. So one thing I've noticed right away about this drone is how much more powerful it is than the Mavic Mini. Regarding like wind, I would be really scared to shoot my Mavic Mini up if if we're getting like any kind of wind. If, if small breeze wasn't a big deal, but if I was getting wind, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get this drone back. And I launched this thing up in some pretty high winds and it flew flawlessly. The distance this thing flies is way further than the Mavic Mini as well, and I know that's due to it being connected differently. Um, let's see, I wrote down how far it goes. It, it goes around 18 kilometers, which is like 11 miles with like no wind and interference. So that's pretty freaking far compared to the Mavic Mini. I forget how far the Mavic Mini went, but I couldn't get it that far. So it's been really nice to not have to worry about losing signal while I'm launching it out pretty far. The drone also does not feel cheap. like. It feels really sturdy. The Mavic Mini felt a little, you know, like if you, I did crash the Mavic Mini quite a bit and it, and it survived and it went on to fly and keep flying. Um, but I feel like if this thing were to crash, hopefully not, I'm not putting like knock on wood, I don't want it to crash, but I feel like it could could handle it. And what's really cool, what I really love is the how the propellers like come in and out. You just like, let's see if I can focus this. You just like press press in and twist and they can just pop out and pop in pretty easily and I don't know I just found that really convenient and the Mavic Mini I think you had to like use a screwdriver and stuff and I never changed the propellers in the Mavic Mini but yeah it looked a little, a little bit more intricate than that just like squeezing and turning or sorry pressing and turning so just a, another little thing that I enjoyed about the drone. One of the major things I really wanted with a drone was D-Log being able to shoot in log and uh, this one has 10-bit color as well and let me tell you, you can push the colors really far and it looks phenomenal. It feels, ugh, it just, ugh, it just lights me up. It makes me happy. I'm just so stoked on this drone. Really, I really am. I like, 
I haven't even <laughs> taken out my R6 for a little bit. I've been just wanting to go fly this and go in and go color grade and all that just because the footage looks so good. And yeah, it uh, definitely doesn't disappoint. And I'm really happy that it does match well with my R6 because that was my my ultimate thing. That's why I wanted to upgrade the drone because I wanted some nice drone shots to match, match with the, the nice footage of the R6. And uh, be able to shoot in 5.4K is uh, really handy if I want to crop in a little bit. So with my previous drone, let me just unfold this thing real quick and just, you know, get it. Oh, I'm folding it wrong. Okay, there we go. Let's kind of show the, the size of this drone. It's a pretty decent sized drone. I know it's not like the biggest drone on the market, but coming from the Mavic Mini, you're like, whoa, this is actually it's a bit beefier. Pop this off too. There we go. So right now I have a the Freewell ND filter on it. That's why it's has that red ring around it. Just feels good in the hand. So previously with the Mavic Mini, I've had quite a bit of birds swoop the drone and the drone fall out of the sky and crash. Luckily it survived, but yeah. With this drone, I've had no uh, no birds coming to try and swoop it. Sorry, I knocked the mic. I've had no birds try to uh, swoop the drone. And rightfully so, it looks a little bit more intimidating and it's a whole lot louder than the Mavic Mini. So, uh, so far I can say that the drone is bird proof. So far, I haven't had any swooping yet. So uh, fingers crossed that that doesn't happen. <laughs> Maybe unless you get one of those like massive bald eagles, the ones that are just like, like extremely huge. That would probably take this out, no problem. Like it, it would have no problem like seeing a drone, yeah, taking it out. So if you have any bald eagles in your area, maybe try to avoid any kind of bald eagle nests because you might, you might lose your drone. So there's still a lot more things I need to do with this drone, a lot more testing, a lot more uh, just playing around with the drone. This is just kind of my initial review, just something quick just to get out there just because I was stoked on the drone. Also, what's really nice is having the uh, the sensors all over the drone because the Mavic Mini, did it have any sensors? I'm not sure if you even had any sensors. I don't recall there being any. Oh, I think there was like a down, there was the, 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 the bottom sensor and is that it? <laughs> I'm not sure. This one has, you know, cameras all around it. Let's see if I can, yeah, cameras right there. Um, I think it doesn't have any side cameras, which can be a bit of a downfall for any of you guys that use those advanced drones, but it has sensors right there and on the back, just trying to get it focused. Yeah. So really good for obstacle avoidance, but if you're going sideways, you just want to be careful because there's no sensor on the side. So be careful not doing those sideways pan and shots. If you're near any trees or mountains or cliffs, just got to keep an eye on that. Like I know the uh, more advanced drones, like the Mavic 3, Air Mavic, <laughs> DJI Mavic Pro 3, whatever that, uh, the new drone that came out has all the, you know, all the things that you'd want on a professional drone. This is a phenomenal drone for the price. You get 5.4K, uh, 31 minutes of flight time, it goes super far and it looks good. You get to shoot D-Log at 10 bit. It's quite literally like almost like the whole package. I mean, what more do you need? Like the footage looks really good. Yes, I know the Mavic 3 is like the best of the best, but I've seen some side-by-sides and a lot of times I can't even see the difference. So you might want to do your own research, but you could potentially probably save some money and just get the Air 2S and get some pretty bomb ass footage. Oh, and another thing, the remote is <laughs> massive compared to the Mavic Mini I had. Um, you got the little thing that pops up here. You squeeze your phone in there and uh, keep your joysticks stored at the bottom there. And uh, one thing, when I first used this drone, I couldn't figure out how to uh, go from cine to normal to sport mode. And uh, it's actually on the remote. I'm not sure if you can change it through your phone settings. That's what you did on the Mavic Mini. But uh, yeah, on here, I've noticed that it's on the controller. So if you guys know how to change that on, uh, on your phone, comment down below and let us know. But yeah, I mean, it's easier to just use the switch anyways. <clears throat> anyways, going off on a tangent. All right, so that's kind of like my super unprofessional <laughs> initial review on this drone. I just wanted to talk about it, get it out there, and uh, I'm going to have a lot more uh, content on this drone, the uh, the best video settings, and yeah, I'll have lots of content on this drone. So if you guys have this drone and are interested to learn different things with this drone, 
hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because I'll have plenty of videos on this drone. And I'm just excited to make some good films with a drone that looks good and matches my R6 really well. All right, I'll end it here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.